There are several options for what our fader can do with our submaster. Let's have a look. Proportional submasters by default control all parameters, intensity and non. So let's do a quick example and see what this looks like. I'm gonna put group 11 at full. And uh, those are a couple of little moving lights that I have. And I'm just gonna tilt them up onto my psych. And I'm gonna record those into sub 10. So I'll say record sub 10, enter. Again, we wanna clear sneak enter to remove our manual values. And when I move sub 10, it's gonna proportionally move my intensity from zero to full, but it's also proportionally moving my tilt from its home value up to its recorded value. So maybe I don't wanna see those fixtures move. I'd much rather have them be in place when I bring that up. So I wanna change that fader to an intensity master. So if I say sub 10, and I hit my property soft key, which is S5, I'll get that same view that I had in the submasters window. I'm gonna change my master from proportional to an intensity master. Hit clear. So now what I can do is use my bump button to put my non-intensity parameters in place and my fader will only control my intensity parameter. So if I hit the bump button, you'll notice 101 through 106, my values light up yellow because they are now in place with the sub. And I also get a little flash that says that these values are being held. Now as I fade up my fixture, those lights are already in place. I can use them for as long as I want, fade them back down, and then I can hit the bump button again to let those lights go back to what they were doing before. So if you don't hit the bump button before you move that fader, the board tries to help you, and as soon as it sees that the fader is above 0%, it marks those non-intensity parameters for you. So depending on how fast you move your fader and how fast your moving lights are, you may or may not see the move happen. But when you hit the bottom of the fader, it doesn't let go of them automatically. So you still have to hit your bump button. However, there's another attribute for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and say sub 10 and my soft key S5 is properties. And you can see that I have unmark at zero. So with that enabled, I'll move my fader up and it'll jump those fixtures into position as quickly as possible. I go all the way up to full. And as I bring them down, as soon as I hit zero, it's gonna automatically unmark them for me.